Dumela, welcome back to Swana class. Today we are going to. Okay, let me remove that text first because you're gonna know why that text is there very soon. Okay, today we are going to react or we are going to add from one of the Stwana lessons. So if you are from, uh, if you are learning Stwana, you might have stumbled between two different versions versions of Stwana. Uh, mainly Stwana from South Africa and Stwana from Botswana. And you might be thinking, what's the difference there? They're all Stwana. And the truth is, there's not much of a difference. Uh, the difference will come when you are communicating. Uh, when you're communicating in Sotswana from South Africa with people from Botswana, they will notice the difference and they might not understand or they might uh, confuse some of the words. It's not common because the Sotswana is pretty much the same thing. There are few words that are used differently in Sotswana from Botswana, uh, different from Sotswana from South Africa. So. The video I'm going to react to is from a friend of mine, S.J. Litlal. Um, I'll leave his uh, link dis description below so that you go and check out his YouTube channel. That's, that channel I really recommend for people who are learning Sotswana. Formally, be it maybe you're working in a hospital, wherever you're working, then you want to learn Sotswana formally. Um, even though you are going to Botswana, you can still learn that Sotswana and you, you just have to change a few words here and there. So, I'm going to do just that right now. Uh, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get to that video. So here he said, Dijana, I just have to rewind it a little bit. Dijana, Dijana, this one is what lets you a gummy. Always. Uh, this should have to be washed always. Otherwise, they'll attract cockroaches. So. That's Sotswana from South Africa, but in Sotswana from Botswana, you're going to remove the word Mitla. This is when you are learning Sotswana formally, but if, you are, if it's just informal for communication, you can say Mitla and people will understand what you say. So, but in Sotswana formally, you're going to say Nakozol. Dishes have to be washed always. Okay, moving on. Dishes have to be washed always. Okay, moving on. Dishes have to be washed always. Uh, the word that is different from the Swana from Botswana here is Sisepa. Sisepa, which is soap. Karata uh, Sisepa Sisetla. So he, the Sisepa you're going to say Molora. Molora. But if you are learning informally, I'm just going to emphasize this over and over and over again. I'm not correcting his lessons. I'm just adding how you would say it if you are learning Setswana from Botswana. So this is not a correction. He didn't do anything wrong. Everything is super fine. But if you are learning informally, you can say Sesepa and people will still understand you. But if you say Molora in Botswana, it makes it makes sense. Uh, I don't know. It uh, yeah. That's that's where. That's the only word that you would change in that sentence. Kerata molora. O motala. Kerata molora. Kerata molora. O motala. Kerata. 
ke rata moloro o motlala wa dijana so that's how you're gonna say it uh let me just write the whole sentence because i feel like it, it might confuse ke rata moloro o motlala wa dijana Excuse me. Karata Moloro Mota Lawadijan. Oh yeah, my sentences go with it. There we go. Yes. That's how you're gonna say it in Sutwana from Botswana. This sentence I like. Let me put my head up here. So that I don't hide any other words. Karata supposed to say it la sadijan. Karata moloro o mota lawadijan. Moving on. I hope that this makes sense. Kerata se se pase se tala sa dijana. Ga o tlhoke go tshela thata. Me sentsa le fulo le dinnyi. Pele ke tlhatswa dijana tse dingwe. Ke batla go tlhatswa digalase. Ga ke batla gore di kopane le dijana tse di mafura gore di nepepa. Ke feditse go tlhatswa digalase jano ke simolola go tlhatswa dijana go na le dijana tsa galase tsa tshipi tsa plastiki tsa lojalo ke dijana tsa batho ba ba rarofela di kopane le didiriswa tsa kapelo ke tlhatswa jalo di janatse me ke di baya motoko ah let me just take it back there ke tlhatswa di ke tlhatswa jalo di janatse me ke di baya motoko so there's only one word you're going to change here if you are speaking Sotswana from Botswana Instead of more, you are going to say ko. Make it by a ko talk. I put them aside. Kiti by a ko talk. Instead of more talk, you say ko talk. That's how you say it uh, with Sitara from Botswana. Okay, moving on. Excuse me. Kiti by a mo talk. Fake fedit. That's all. Uh, here the one word you are going to change is maswana. Uh, he said maswana, so you're going to change it to di intwana. Di intwana. Ah, the ke fagi feri se ko fagi feri se katsole ke tlhatswa di tswana di foroko di tipa jalo jalo. So you are going to say Dintwana instead of Maswana. But if you are speaking Sotswana from South Africa, you are going to say Maswana, then people will understand you better. But if you are in Botswana, you are going to say Dintwana. There, the word Leswana do not change also in Sotswana from Botswana. Ka foroko. Go na khate le baba jang ka tipa le foroko. Ya nu go tsa dipitsa. Di pizza di chwanetse go gotliwa ka sekgolo. Pele ke dirisa segotla. Ke ntsa bo gogo mo pitseng ya palete. Ke be ke bola. Pizza ya palete. It's a little bit of 
go tsosa le swe lo tshe di pitsa tse dingwe di na le mafura ka gore di ne di apele nama le di jo tse dingwe ke tswela la pele mola di jana tsotlhe jano ah uh, here the word kopimol ah uh, i think this is going to be debatable ah uh, if you are if we are Botswana from Botswana please let me know maybe i am but we are going to say kisuka I think the proper way from uh, Botswana is instead of for say Kipimula Dija, they're going to say Kisuka I like wiping them up. So that's how you say it with uh, Sotswana from Botswana. Kija, no. But even when you say Kipimula, Kipimula Dija, so like it's still understandable, but it's not how somebody from Botswana, like somebody who speaks Setswana from Botswana would normally say it. I hope you understand that. Like, if you've been learning Setswana from South Africa, I don't think it's like, ah, a drawback to like, now you have to learn Setswana from Botswana, like starting from scratch. Uh, this is like, mainly for people who are learning Setswana for formal reasons. You want to use Setswana from Botswana to get it right. But if it's just informal for communication and you speak uh, a little bit of Setswana from South Africa, don't worry about a thing, okay? If it's just for like chatting and talking to people, don't worry about a thing. But if it's like for formal, writing down type of job, type of stuff, yeah, you have to change it to Setswana from Botswana. If you learn to buy a mo teng kharaka fa ke feditse ke dirisa fa tuku e o mileng e e kholo ah so the word fa tuku we, we also say it in Setswana but it's not formal it's uh, informal like for communicating but you're going to say let's say let's say like still the same thing it's, it's cloth uh, it's Fatuku. You can say Fatuku if you are used to that. If you're speaking Setswana from South Africa, it's still we use that as well, but it's informal. You're going to say let's say. Um, so I feel like Setswana from Botswana always have to be to explain uh, let's say because let's say it can be any cloth, so you have to say let's say ladijana or something like that so let's say ladijana meaning like a dishcloth so there we go ya nun ke feditse ke ya go dibaya go ra ke khatiso e felela mo emela mafoko a masha Where is Bohor? Oh, what did I do? Okay. Bohor. Didirisi watsaka pego. Didirisi watsaka pego. Diforo. Dikhalas.
odd copy. So if you let me, like I already said, cut these recording. Okay, the same thing. The fool. The fool. My fool. Mafura can also mean oil, like cooking oil, or just any form of oil, but you have to exp like if you are from, if you are speaking Botswana from Botswana, you, you have to specify like Mafura a Mafura Jiwang or Mafura Kului, or like you have to specify Mafura Toriwang, like lotion and stuff. So you have, you always have to explain. Dintuana for spoons uh, with the Tuana from Botswana. Palechi. Palechi. Plastic. I think in Sutwana we in Sutwana from Botswana we don't say raka, we say koboto get on say that. Koboto. Koboto. I know all these words where it's just like tiny words. You can say raka, people still understand you, but uh, it depends which side of Botswana you are. I think if you're in the southern part of Botswana, a lot of people will understand you when you're speaking Setswana from South Africa. But if you are going up north, northeast, and all these other places, people might question you, or they might say, what did you say? So... If you are going to stay in Botswana, I would encourage you to also learn Setswana from Botswana so that you don't have to explain yourself over and over again. This is an informal way of saying pot scorer. It's, uh, I think it's taken from Africans. Skirpot. If you say skirpot, then people will know what you're talking about in Botswana. If you say sekhotla, it can be anything. Uh, so if you say skirpot, people will know exactly what you're talking about. That is only if you are in Botswana. If you say Sukhotha, you might be understood depending on what you're doing at the time. If you are saying Kiwata Sukhotha says Tazwandi Pizza, then somebody will understand you, of course. But if it's just like in the middle of a conversation and there's nothing there to reference to, you might have to explain what you're talking about. Molora. Same word. Switch and save six hundred. Okay, so that's it for today. Sorry about that ad. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are here for the first time, please subscribe and learn Sotswana. And if you are learning Sotswana, if you are from South Africa and learning Sizwana from Botswana, then you are here at the right time, right channel. So if you are 
just learning Sitswana in general and you didn't know that there are two types of Sitswanas or Sitswana language depending on which country you're going to then I hope you're gonna learn something uh, and if you have any question if you don't understand if you need help just let me know and I'll try to get back to you I'm not promising but uh, if I have if I see your message I'll get back to you as soon as possible so Thank you for watching. Uh,